Welcome to Words of Aloha with Pastor Izzy Manzo of Amazing Grace Ministries International. We're headquartered in Kailua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Join us now as we get into God's Word. And Paul knew this. Paul, Paul said, listen, my whole motivation is to, is, well, it's found in this next part of this chapter. Let me, let me show it to you. Paul goes on and says, though he says, I am free from all men. Okay, I'm free from all men. No, nobody owns me. Nobody pays me to preach. I'm free to do this. I do this freely. He says, yet I have made myself a slave. To all men. Gosh, who's this remind me? Jesus said, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you learn to be the what? Servant of all. Paul says, though I'm free. No one, no one owns me. No one bosses me. No one's paying me to do this. Yet, voluntarily, he says, I am a slave to all. And here's why. So that I may win more. Win what? You guys know, right? What's he after? What, what, what's he trying to win? Souls. And to the Jews, he says, I have become as a Jew, so that I might win the Jews. To those that are under the law, as, as under the law. Though he says, not being under the law myself, he says, so that I might win those who are under the law. And to those that are without the law, you know, to... Well, Gentiles didn't grow up with the law of Moses following those things from the scripture. He says, but to those I am without the law, though not being without the law of God, he says, but, but under the law of Christ, so that I may win those who are without the law. In other words, to the Gentiles, he was willing to set aside the Jewish customs, the Jewish things, and show them the law of Christ. Now, what was Christ's law? What, what did Jesus say? I got a new commandment for you. New commandment I give you, that you what? Love one another. To them, I set aside all the legalisms of Judaism, and I teach them the law of Christ. Love one another. Now to the weak, Paul does something, he says, I become weak. This is something that if you're a very strong person, individual, and you're trying to minister to someone who's not. I've seen great frustration from a few men. That's stupid. We got when he just buck it up. Let's go, you know. Get a get tough, grow a pair, you know. I'm, oh, sorry. Edit that out. <laughs> yeah. I am not perfect yet. I'm working on. You know, they're like, you gotta get tough. You're strong, and yet Paul would be like, you know what? That doesn't really help the weak person. Romans is like kicking them when they're down. They're already weak, and you just came along and kicked them. Paul says to the weak, I become weak that I might win them. And he says, I have become all things to all men that I might by all means save some. In other words, his, what, what's he after? Saving souls. That's all he cares about. He says, I do all things for the sake of the gospel so that I might become a fellow partaker with it. Whole, the whole motivation of everything I do is so that I might become a fellow partaker I get to be part of God's work, of the good news that Christ came to save us. He said, I want to, I, I do all things. How many, how many of us could say, okay, starting off this new year, my mantra, I do all things. This is what we're going to, we're going to start off the year. I'm going to, you know, everyone's making these, um, we call resolutions. Then I start off my year, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And usually a lot of those resolutions to do with physical goals and things, but how about a spiritual one? How many of us could start off where you're saying, I'm going to do all things for the sake of the gospel. Whatever I do this year will be for the sake of the gospel. Would it change our year? I mean, really, if we had this, if, if we could take Paul's attitude of his heart and adopt it, can we learn other attitudes of the heart from someone? Sure. This is one of the best attitudes I know. Highlight verse 23 if you haven't already in your Bible that you can remember to do all things for the sake of the gospel. That you can be a partaker of the gospel. You can be part of what God is doing. 
Mahalo for joining us. If you'd like more information about us, go to our website, AmazingGraceKona.com, and click the link to follow us on Facebook. That's AmazingGraceKona.com. Mahalo and God bless.